off. I remember when they told me I wouldn't be famous. Now my dream and reality is simultaneous. Hello guys, it's Miss Little Kid here, and we're back for the um, second episode of the Raheem Sterling player career mode show thingy. Um, first up, we've got uh, the first game against West Brom. Obviously, in real life, it didn't go too well for Liverpool. I think we lost 3-1. Uh, disappointing start of the season, and um, it's this time of the season uh, for the FIFA alternative career mode version. Um, as you saw before, obviously, because I'm playing the match as well, um, we got picked. I think we're playing uh, Lamb or left attacking mid. It's either Lamb or Ram. Um, also, I'm looking to play Cam because I'm like Cam. But um, Sterling can actually play left wing or right wing. And uh, depending on if Davia we see here, and uh, Sterling is playing left attacking midfield, um, Downing is on the right. Downing is uh, listed as a right wing. Sterling is a left wing, uh, preferably. But um, with the purchase, of, oh, here we have a great chance here. And how he didn't bury that in back in the net, I don't know. But uh, like I was saying just before, oh, there's another great shot by Gerard. Okay, I, want, I promise I'll finish what I was going to say. Um, with the purchase of David Villa um, in the transfer season, um, it, it's kind of I don't really know what to think about it. He's like 30 years old. He's a bit injury prone. Um, 8.5 million. Uh, he was a great player, a really good player. I'm sure, they would lose one nil. Quite disappointing. Um, he was a great player, but Liverpool has so much good youth coming through. Uh, to me, it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, if he went to an Arsenal or someone like that, I kind of can see why that they have great youth as well. Um, but I don't really understand. As you see here, we get uh, selected for England, I believe or at least in the training side or whatever but um we're going to our second game of the season although this isn't a Barkers Premier League game this is a Capital One Cup I think it was I don't think that was FA Cup I'm pretty sure it's Capital One Cup and uh we get matched up against Arsenal this early into uh, the Capital One Cup usually you get uh, like a lower league side but we get Arsenal straight up and we have fielded a pretty good side to be fair like I don't think there's really anybody missing except for like Glenn Johnson I'm not sure if he was injured or not as you can see there um, I think I was playing on the right hand side so obviously last game we played on the left hand side did nothing in that game and maybe the coach has uh, decided to try me out on the right or try Raheem out on the right I should say uh, just to see how he goes let me see there I'm just running around the player doing nothing and uh, they score a nice little goal, a nice little passing uh, movement. Uh, Giroud scoring. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Um, but anyways. So, but like, I'm doing my best. Like, I was reading the play pretty well, but uh, just, like, the little, like, the last sort of touch or the last pass, last shot, etc. I wasn't good enough, except for this one. That was a beautiful ball. Beautiful play uh, altogether by Sterling. Although Gerard ends up finishing it off, that would be a really should have. But, um... Even though it didn't end up finishing off, that was kind of like my goal. Should have been my assist. Also, so kind of annoying there. The first touch uh, went wrong for me. Or yeah, I'm gonna say me because I don't know, just easier. Um, Sterling did pretty well there, although we butch butchered the shot. Uh, he was getting um, hassled very well, or well, a lot. Um, just the strength. He's only a, he's only an 18 year old. Uh, he hasn't got the greatest strength. He might have to hit the gym um, and instead of doing the endurance, maybe lift some weights or something. I don't know. We saw that in a corner in the 117th minute. Uh, actually got a head to the ball, which is kind of a little bit surprising because of how short Sterling is and that he's actually in the box. But we got a head to it and a keeper hit it away. See if um got the penalties in fast lap fast motion, whatever fast forward I should say, fast motion, I don't know what I was thinking, 
um, Tavi Rhea, I think it was, uh, he just slipped. He slipped up at the final hurdle, like he has done a lot of times this season for us, even though it's so early on. Although I can't really say much myself, I haven't done much at all. Uh, we have Suarez coming down to Suarez. Can he make it? Yes, he does. He scores. The crowd goes wild for a cup and one cup game. And uh, we see he didn't have the greatest of games. And um, we have to see whether we make the England squad in the next episode. Um, maybe the amount of games is a bit of a hint for this episode. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked and enjoyed it or whatever, uh, subscribe to my channel. It'd be really cool. I haven't got any subscribers. Eh, poor Luke. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.